Okay, so for our interior walls, it is said in the specifications part that we are to use plywood as our interior wall materials. So we would be fastening our plywoods to our wall studs there. Okay, so for us to solve for the number of plywoods that we would be needing for the interior walls, the first thing that we should do is to compute for the total area of the interior wall. So the area walls. <laughs> walls to like area wall, I should say. Okay, after um, solving for the area of the wall, the next thing that you should do is to determine the number of plywood basing it from the total area of the wall. But take note guys for your plywood, so plywood, the commercially available plywood has a dimension of 4 feet by 8 feet. So if we are to convert this into metric, that is to be 1.22 meters by so 2.44 meters. So confirmation lang, check natin if I am right. So 4 divided by 3.28. So this is to be 1.22, so 2.44. But here in Woodworks estimation, it is better for us to use the factors, I mean the dimensions 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters. So let's use this instead. So meaning for every plywood, it has dimensions of 1.2 by 2.4. So ultimately, the area of one plywood, so A ply, is equal to 1.2 by 2.4. So 1.2 by 2.4, that is to be 2.88 square meters. So 2.88 square meters per piece. So if you can see where this is going, so we must divide the area of the wall by this to get the number of pieces. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is to solve for the area. So for the area of the wall, so which is the interior part, so let's just show our three-dimensional figure once again. So what we would be solving here would be this. So ito, this one, this one, and let's get a yellow color. So this one and this one. So yung loob lang. And if you can see on your left, the end-to-end -end dimension of this part right here is 3 meters and this part right here is 3.5 meters so from that we would be subtracting the thickness here which is 3 inches since we are to use 3 inches wall studs okay so for the yellow part ano ba to? so for the yellow part that is to be 3.5 meters minus 2 times 3 inches and 3 inches is equal to 75 mm times the height 2.7 and times 2 okay then plus the area of the red area so 3 meters minus 2 times 0 0.075 times 2.7 times 2 as well so this would be the gross area and for us to get the net area, bawas natin ang ating area of the holes. I mean area of the opening that is to be 0 0.8 by 2.1. So this is to be the for the door and this is to be for the window which is 1.2 by 1.8 meters. So ultimately, you would have an area of the wall to be 3.5 minus 2 times 0 0.075 times 2.7 times 2 plus 3 minus 2 times 0 0.075 times 2.7 times 2 minus 0.8 by 2.1 minus 1.2 by 1.8 so our answer here would be 29.64 square meters 29.64 square meters. Okay, so wala na tayong space. I would just be copying our area right here. So, okay, so for us to determine the total number of plywood that we would be needing for our interior walls, what we would be doing is to divide this area right here by the factor that we have derived earlier. 
so for the number of plywood so let's say that that would be n ply and plywood is equal to 29.64 square meters divided by 2.88 square meters per piece of a plywood and if we are to solve for this our answer would be so 29.64 divided by 2.88 so that is to be 10.29 so 10.29 pieces so from that we would be rounding this up to 11 pieces of plywood so let's say that the 3 fourths inch so 3 fourths inch marine plywood so this is just for an example okay so another alternative so an alternative for solving this would be this so for the number of plywood so 29.64 square meters divided by 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters so this is the uh, dimensions of one plywood and ultimately you would arrive at this answer and you would be rounding it up to this so there okay next up exterior walls and according to the specifications earlier for the exterior walls we are to use one by six siding boards and it is specified here that we are to use one by six weather cut siding boards and for the siding boards this is what it actually looks like so there and this figure on the right is actually the figure from the book of Max Fajardo and this would be the cross-sectional view of each um, type of siding board so this would be single cut double cut bcb v cut and weather cut and this would be the sizes of board the sizes of boards in inches and as you can see here this would be its effective width in meters and since we are to use one by six we are only concerned with this part right here in the bottom and by the way so how can we use this so even though that your board has a dimension of one by six so meaning yan is let's say that this is to be one inch so one inch it is said here that its other dimension would be six inches so this is to be six inches so ayan six inches but it is said here that its effective width is only 0.1375 but if we are to convert 6 inches into millimeters so 6 inches and if we if our, if our conversion factor is just 25 mm so it is said here that the converted dimension of 6 inches into millimeters is 150 millimeters so if you are to divide that by 1000 so supposedly point point fifteen yen so point fifteen so 0 0.15 but it is said here that the effective width is just 0.1375 so why is that the case because even though that this is to be your uh, whole board inch its effective area would only cover this part right here so ito lang because this certain dimensions right here so i mean this part of your board right here is actually hidden so it is not covered for the effective width in meters so this one by six right here is just your gross um, dimensions so yeah in terms of estimation we would be using this 0.1375 so you can either use this 0.1375 right here or you can use this as an alternative wherein this is to be uh, the board foot in the board foot per square meter so meaning for every square meter of your wall approximately it would be having a 13.091 board foot per square meter once again this is this table um, is from the book of max fardo okay so how can we solve for that so for our next slide we must solve for the exterior uh, area of the walls so for us to solve for the exterior area area wall is equal to so 3 meters so I would just get the per perimeter so 3 meters plus 
so times 2 so this is to be the perimeter and times 2.7 so perimeter times height so that is to be the area and from that we would be subtracting the area of the openings once again so 0 0.8 by 2.1 so this is for the area for the door and this is to be 1.2 times 1.8 so this is to be the area of the window so okay solving for the area that is to be 3 plus 3.5 times 2 times 2.7 minus 0.8 by 2.1 minus 1.2 by 1.8 so our answer here would be 31.26 square meters so 31.26 square meters okay after that we must now determine the number of board foot for that area right there so for us to get the board foot so bf wall so let's say bf exterior so this is to be 31.26 square meters times our factor which is 13.091 so ito siya 13.091 so that factor right there actually has its factor of safety due to shrinkage already so it would be just directly multiplying it so 13.091 board foot per square meter so square meter would cancel out and our answer for the number of board foot here would be 31.26 times 13.091 so that is to be 409.224 so 409.22 board foot okay so for us to solve for the uh, number of pieces so once again i would just be copying this to the next slide since we don't have areas anymore i mean uh writing area anymore so so there and if we are to use lumber which is 1 by 6 by 12 so let's say that this would be the sidings that we would be ordering so sidings Let us solve for the board foot for one piece of this siding right here. So if this is to be 1 inch by 6 inches by 12 feet. So once again, we must multiply this by our, our conversion factor, which is um, one board foot for every 12 inch inch feet. So this would cancel out. So mawawala itong mga to and our answer here would be so this is supposed to be 6 so 1 by 6 by 12 divided by 12 6 nga 6 board foot per piece okay so after that we must divide this total board foot right here by the board foot of one piece of the siding for us to get the num total number of pieces so from there the number of n 1 by 6 by 12 sidings would be um, 409.22 board foot divided by 6 board foot per piece so board foot would cancel out so your number of 1 by 6 by 12 would be equal to 409.22 divided by 6 so that is to be 68.2 so 68.2 and ultimately you would be rounding it up so 69 pieces of 1 by 6 by 12 siding that's it for the exterior walls